What's up YouTube? This is Print Practical. We got a fun video for today. We're going to be designing, printing, and testing a 3D printed disc golf disc, specifically a throwing putter. If you're new to the channel, a lot of my videos are making functional prints and sometimes I like to let 3D printing bleed into my other hobbies. This isn't the first time I'm doing a disc golf video and it won't be the last. So if you're new, subscribe and like the video and let's hop into this. I don't know anything about disc golf physics. I don't know what makes a disc understable versus overstable, but what I do know is that I love the MVP Envy as a throwing putter. So I'm gonna use a few parameters from this disc in my own design. So that way I have a baseline to start with. So the parameters from this disc that I was talking about specifically was the diameter of the disc, the width of the rim, and then also the profile of the rim. It's hard to get the camera to focus, but it has this kind of rounded to like an arc here. So I'm not actually gonna measure that specifically, um, but I'm just looking for the general shape. So let's look at what I can design. So this is what I generally came up with. I put all these slashes here to show the cross section because I have some other lines here that I'm not going to use, but this is gonna be the general shape of the disc. It has a flat flight plate, and then the rim bulges out here and then has a sweeping arc down to the bottom of the rim. And then I'm going to revolve this around this axis, which will make the shape of the whole disc. And then I'm going to fill it these corners here to round that edge off. And also I'm gonna fill it this corner here. So that way the top plate of the disc and the rim are adhered a little better. But overall, that's what I designed and I'm going to go and print it out on my Ender 3. We have the print practical putter drawn out and it looks good. I'm excited to throw it. So I'm gonna slice it on a 15 degree angle and see if that works. Um, I would like for it to be printed in this orientation so that parts of the rim and the flight plate are all on one layer instead of doing it on its back. But if I run into problems, then I'll probably switch it up. But let's see what happens. Well, that was a disaster. I started to print the disc and my hot end fan shroud broke. So then I had to go redesign part of it, print it out on a different printer, installed it. And then the hot end fan stopped working, which caused the hot end to overheat and melt my X carriage. So I had to go reprint an X carriage, install a new fan in the fan shroud. And now I'm finally going to start printing the disc. This was like a 12, 13 hour print. So I did it overnight and it came out pretty sweet. So let's break off these supports and then we'll check it out. At 106 grams with this disc. So let's check what the slicer said that I was gonna use here. So I sliced the disc without the supports just to check. And it says 110 grams. So that's very close. I finally got outside to throw this thing. Let's check out some clips of that. 45 degrees out. It's too wet to go to a disc golf course, so I'm in my parents' backyard. I'll see. Not bad. That flies Whoa. awesome. That's right over the fence. Oh no. That flies awesome. I'm super happy with it. Nice grab. Oh, nice. Nice grab. Let's quickly talk about some pros and cons of this and then we'll move on to the next revision. So the first con about this is that it is slightly warped off the build plate. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's got a very slight warp this way. Um, so I, I wanna work that warp out. Um, and then the other issue that I have with this disc is it's a little light. It's 106 grams, so it feels pretty dinky in your hand. Though one of the pros is I could throw this with some power, power, my power, uh, which is not very much, but I was able to throw this like 220 feet uh, with you know what I thought was a decent amount of power and it flew pretty true. It did a little bit of a, a turn and then it faded pretty hard, similar to how when I throw an MB. So I was pretty pumped about that. Um, also, this thing is extremely durable for being printed in PLA plus. I hit a few trees throwing it in my parents' backyard I went over to Spank Ranch Garage's house and I threw it and hit a few cars with it and his driveway a few times with it. And there's not very many noticeable issues with it after that. You might have a few little nicks, but 
Otherwise, it still flies awesome. So I think we're gonna go make the next revision. Uh, I'm gonna change the infill so that I can make it closer to what my MD is. I'm shooting for 170 grams uh, or 175 grams. So I'm gonna change that. And then also I'm just hoping that this warp goes away, but we'll see what happens. So let's get the next one printing. The heavier version has finished. And unfortunately it got super duper warped. So that is not gonna work. I think it has to do with the plastic cooling and warping. I don't know. If anybody knows why this happened, comment down below. But I think for now, I'm going to print the next version on its flight plate, so that way I get a nice flat disc. Boom, there we go. This thing looks perfect. All right, let's see what the slicer said it was gonna weigh, and then let me go test it downstairs and see what this thing actually weighs, but definitely feels better in the hand. 176 grams. So let's see if that adds up. Okay, a little bit less than I wanted, but still a lot better than 106. If you're still watching, sweet. I'm pumped to go throw this in the field. I'm gonna bring you guys with and we'll see how this thing performs. I'm gonna to go to the field and throw a few test shots, possibly throw a hole or two while I'm at the course and see how well it does. In PA, it's like 15 or 20 degrees out today, so it's gonna be super cold, uh, but I wanna see how this thing flies. So let's get out there. All right, we're at the field with our final revision. So I'm gonna give this a throw on Heiser, flat and on Anheuser and see what this disc can do. All right, I think that's enough of throwing it in the field. I think I'm gonna play one hole with it, just to play with it, and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. All right, we're at the tee pad of hole three. It's 300 something feet, like way out of my range, so I'm shooting for a par here. Uh, let's give it a rip. Oh boy, not good, not a good start. All right, left myself a ton of work and try and forehand it in. Not bad. So my final impression of this disc, it's a little too overstable for me. I just don't have quite enough arm speed to really get it flying. I think that the first revision that was lighter was actually easier for me to throw further. But overall, it is a fun disc still. Uh, I did bring the super warped disc. So I will throw that a few times here at the end of the video. Uh, but I just wanted to say that I may do a part two to this video where I either change the profile of this disc a little bit to try and get the flight characteristics that I'm looking for, or I could go a different route and try printing it out of TPU which is a little bit more flexible and might actually feel more like a real disc golf disc other than a hard piece of plastic. So if you have any opinions on that, leave a comment below and uh, let's go throw this warp disc. And if you haven't already, like the video and subscribe. We'll see you next time. That flew great. <laughs>